Hello everybody, my name is Mr Dullard, I'm the Associate Principal at Allenbrook Secondary College and part of my job is to work with the Year 6s and welcome them into high school and also work with them into Year 7. Normally we would come out and visit you at school so it's a little bit different today, we're doing it on video due to the current situation. Now the upside of us doing this on video is we actually get to use the magic of media. So. Some of the things we can do here, we wouldn't be able to do live, such as introducing Mr. Thresher. Hey there, I'm Mr. Thresher. I'm the Year 7 Coordinator. You're going to be seeing a lot of me because I'm in charge of helping you guys settle in and running some activities and making sure that you have a good first year at ESC. We've also got Miss Kanji. My name's Miss Kanji. I'm the Enrolment Officer at Ellenbrook Secondary College. I'm one of the school officers in our main administration area and I'm always around to help with anything that you need. Thank you Ms Kanji. The other cool thing we can do is we can actually go anywhere we want. So I was thinking we might check out the beach. Yeah, not bad. Where do you want to go Mr Thresher? I think I want to go to space. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's out of this world. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, Mr. Thresher, let's go. All right, before we start, I just want to say a big thank you to our two producers. Hey, we're Kai and Nikki, and we're doing a part of our course in Cert 3 in Screen Media. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, boys. Thanks for your help. And this video is also going to be on our website, so if any parents are watching, welcome to them as well. All right, let's get into some information. First of all, here are some key staff. The only person you haven't met there is Dr. Havel, who is our principal. You will be meeting him on the orientation day and when you come next year. He's a very experienced principal. He's worked at lots of different schools and has been here for several years. Now, the first thing I need to talk to you about is our college motto, which is engagement, success and community. So, what do we mean? Well, engagement for us is you finding something at high school that you are really interested in and that you like doing. There's a massive range of different things that you'll find to do at high school and you really need to find something that you enjoy and that you're passionate about. Our teachers are also trained to work with you on engaging you in the classroom. We call it active participation. So when you're in the classroom, you're actually in there working, learning, interacting and getting better at the subject that you're doing. So that's really important for us at Allenbrook. The second part of our motto is success. And we really celebrate success here. We have some real high flyers. We have some high flying vet awards. We have our uh, work skills awards in bricklaying and carpentry. We also have people that are getting certificates in ATAR subjects. We have uh, drama people that are getting into WAPA, which is very difficult to get into. Uh, and music students getting into there as well. And we also have some real sporting champions that we celebrate as well. But for us, success really is a personal thing as well. So success isn't just the high flies, it's also your own personal success. And the last one for us that's really important is community. As a school, we are a community, and Mr. Thresher will talk about the house system and, and how we promote that. When you come to Allenbrook, one of the big things you'll find is there'll be a whole lot of new students for you to meet. And it's a really good time for you to put yourself out there and to make new friends and to really get involved in the school community. So we'll talk more about that when you come out next year. But we also look at community outside the college as well. Uh, our music program goes out to different places and performs at aged care. They do the Anzac service. They've been out to your primary schools several times. Hopefully later on this year, they'll be able to come back out again. Uh, and we also have our student leadership team that does a lot of fundraising for different community events as well. So community is big for us too. What I want to do before I continue is show you a little video that our students produce. This will give you a little overview of the, of the school. So we'll put that on now for you. Welcome to Ellenbrook Secondary College, an independent public school in the northern suburbs of Perth, Western Australia. At ESC, students experience a high quality educational program from year seven to year 12 in a safe and supportive learning environment. Teachers at the college are experienced and dedicated to ensuring all students are successful learners. Students enjoy a range of subjects using modern facilities and specialist equipment. The college is home to the highly successful specialist music program, specialist netball, and specialist football programs. 
Our vocational education programs and facilities have supported students to achieve high outcomes, including a number of local and national awards. There are also academic extension programs to support students of high intellect who are on an ATAR pathway in upper school. Our Education Support Centre provides resources and staff to mentor and support students with special needs in and outside of the classroom. Students are engaged outside of the classroom with a number of after-school clubs from mathematics to media. Excursions, incursions and events are organised to enrich students' experience at school, from outdoor education to the whole school musical production. Engagement, success and community are the college's core values and are the foundation for all that we do from behaviour management to rewards for students. Student services provide support for students and run a number of extracurricular activities such as the popular breakfast club. A house system is in place at the college to encourage friendly competition among students with students earning house points towards events and the end of year house reward day. We look forward to welcoming you to our community here at Ellenbrook Secondary College. Okay, so. These are the questions that I get from Year 6s. What's going to be new for me? What's different than primary school? Well, probably the biggest thing is that you're going to have multiple teachers and you're going to have different classes and rooms. The upside of that is that every teacher that you go and see is a specialist in the area that they're teaching in. Um, there's a wider range of subjects which I'll get to in a minute. It is a big campus, okay? And it does take you a little while to get it to learn your way around, but don't be worried about that, okay? Takes you a few days to learn your way around and then everything will be fine. So, what do you need to know and what do you need to do? Well, really, the expectations on you are pretty similar to primary school, okay? You need to have your bag with your equipment in, okay? Miss Kanji will talk more about that in a moment. You need to wear your uniform, obviously, okay? You need to get on class on time. And, we're, and we'd be expecting that you work to the best of your ability. Okay, just the same as your teachers in year six expect. All right, and we'd also want you to be a responsible and caring member of our community. Part of what you'll be studying is what we call MESH subjects, which is an acronym that we use and you'll hear it a bit. It stands for Mathematics, English, Science, and Humanities and the Social Sciences. We tailor these classes to your academic needs. So we're going to have a gate class next year for our top academic students. We're also going to have some other classes where students can get some extra support where they need, plus some extension classes as well. So we're really trying to put you in a class that suits you best, where you're gonna have the best chance of success. Now, these are some of the things that you will be doing in year seven that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in primary school. So you will be in the woodwork workshop, you will be using the tools, you'll be in metalwork, you'll get to do a whole range of different activities that you might not have done before. In year seven, you don't get to choose any of these, and that's the same in year eight. So in year seven and year eight, you try everything. So you get to try a little bit of all these different subjects, and then in year nine, you get to pick the ones that you like. Some of you come out and do your music lessons out with us, and some of you have music lessons um, at your primary school as well. So the specialist music program, you do need to apply to get into that, and there is an application form in our orientation pack. Okay, it is a fantastic program. The standard is hugely high. Mr. Ryan Davis, who runs it, does a fantastic job. You would have seen them perform. They've won not only national awards, but also international awards as well for their performances. So a really fantastic program. The other program that you need to know about is our STEM program, which was new this year. We've just been developing a STEM lab and the students that are doing this are loving it. It's a combination of science, technology, engineering and maths put into context. So at the moment the Year 7s are researching, designing and building a model shark and they're looking at the aerodynamics of the shark as it goes through the water, they're using the 3D printer, they're using mechatronics so they're putting in some um, electronic um, devices to the shark to make it move and they're doing a project. Okay, So they get to do some really fantastic stuff in the STEM program and again you apply for that we actually provide all the computers that you need. So we have 14 computer labs, and we also have 16 sets, class sets of laptops. So you might go to a computer lab with your class, or you might get laptops brought into your class to use. So you do not need to bring a laptop yourself. We actually think this is a really good way of learning because we don't want you on computers all the time. It's a real priority ICT for us, um, and teachers target it where they need it in their classroom, but we don't need it all the time. The first thing you do in year seven 
with your teacher is you go through your timetable and they explain it to you, okay? It shows you what room you need to go to, what class you've got, and who your teacher is, all the important information, okay? You also have a homeroom class, so you'll be going to the same homeroom class every day with the same teacher. And they're a really good port of call. If you've got questions or you want to ask something, they're the person that, that you can talk to. And it's also someone that mum and dad can ring up and just check in with and see how you're settling in and how things are going. We start at 8.35, finish at 2.55, except on Wednesdays we have a meeting. So we, you guys get to go home and we all go to a meeting. Okay, that's enough from me. Let's use my magic. I'll get Mr. Thresher in here to give you some more information. Thanks, Mr. Dullard. When you come to the school, all students are allocated to a house. We have four houses that make up our house system. They are Henley, which is green, Avon, blue, Sterling is yellow, and red is swan. The houses are represented in several activities, including sports carnivals, talent shows, fundraisers, and a variety of lunchtime competitions. You compete for points and all the sort of things that you do in the college that are positive, such as academic success, sporting success, even good behavior, um, and being part of the community will earn you points. At the end of the year, these points are allocated into a tally and the winning house gets a rewards day. How can you earn points? You can earn points through the three categories of engagement, success, and community. They include things like house sports, um, improved results in your academic studies, showcases, arts exhibitions, participation in after school clubs, and a variety of other activities. During the year, there are lots of opportunities for you to win awards both individually and as a house. However, at the end of the year, the house with the most points wins a rewards day. In the past, this rewards day has had jumping castles, Zorb balls, and sausage sizzle and a drink. We actually have a new year seven area, which is only for year sevens. You don't have to go into it, but if you do, there is handball, basketball, and lots of shade for you to sit. It is for lunch times, both lunch one and two. In term four, we have our orientation day. We're really excited about this opportunity for you to come and get a taste of what it's like to be at ESC. Get to make new friends, have a tour around the school, start to see where your classes would be, and meet some of your teachers. It's been a really fun day in the past, and we can't wait to see that. At the beginning of the year, we have our big day out. This is a great opportunity to head over to the Oval and play a bunch of all day games, um, team building, and get to know all the other year sevens. It's a great opportunity to start your year seven off on the right note. Here at the college, we have a range of different before and after school clubs and programs. Whatever your interest, there's something for you. This includes breakfast club, homework clubs, esports, um, robotics, and many sporting groups. We have some exciting new programs at the college. This includes the Deadly Sister Girls, Klontarf Academy, Gifted and Talented, the STEM program, and specialist AFL football and netball. We have a great canteen at the college that's available to you at lunch times and pre-order is available in the morning. Um, special diets can be catered for and cash or card is accepted. All right, I think that's enough for me. I think it's time we hear from Miss Kanji. Thanks, Mr. Thresher. Hi guys, I'm Miss Kanji from Ellenbrook Secondary College. I'm a school officer in the main admin building. In this office, you would come to us for excursions, school fees, late notes, early leave passes, and your parents would contact me directly for enrolment inquiries. Our enrolment pack will be mailed out directly to your home this year, rather than delivered to you at school. Today, I would like to talk to you about our college uniform. Our college uniform can be purchased from Lowe's clothing store in the Ellenbrook Shopping Centre. Lowe's is open seven days a week, so you can conveniently pick up your uniforms at any time. Our uniform consists of a navy polo. We also have a separate navy polo, which is a warrior shirt for sport. Navy jumper or tracksuit jacket, no hoodies. Navy shorts or cargo pants or skirt. Closed in shoes must be worn at all times. Normal sports shoes are fine for this. At Ellenbrook Secondary College, we do have a college dress code. Makeup and jewelry should be minimal. Leggings are not pants. They are not acceptable as part of our dress code. Please make sure that skirts and shorts are of an acceptable length. It's also important to note that aerosol deodorants, hairspray, perfumes are not permitted due to allergies. Roll-on deodorant is okay. Thanks guys, and I'm sure we'll see you soon. 
Now I'm going to bring back Mr. Dullard. Thanks, Miss Kanji. Bye. Okay, we're almost there. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Couple of things. What do we need to bring when we turn up on day one at school in our bag? We need something to write on, okay? You can use a lever arch file or it might be a spiral bound file. It's up to you. As long as you've got somewhere to write for each of your subjects, that's really important, okay? You need a pencil case with your normal things in it. Red pen, blue pen, ruler, scissors, glue, okay? Anything else that you need for your lessons, your teachers will let you know, okay? You do not need to buy textbooks in year seven, we supply them, okay? You also need your sports shirt you might have sport on the first day. Okay, you'll need a lunch box, unless you're going to the canteen, and drink bottle, okay? If you've got a clear drink bottle, you can actually use it in class to drink water because we do promote that throughout the day. We are a SunSmart school at Allenbrook, so we do encourage hats, but you do not have to wear a hat, and we do also have sunscreen available at first aid if you need it. Now, the other thing I get asked a lot about is mobile phones. What is our policy? It is off and away all day so we shouldn't see phones at all. Uh, if we do see them, they do actually get confiscated and eventually parents would need to come and get them. So best to leave them in your bags, okay? Now, student services. Student services is quite a big part of our school and an important part. This is a team of people that are there to help our students, hence the name, okay? So each of the houses, they have what we call a house support officer. They're a youth worker that work with each of the different houses and they're really a port of call for parents if they need to speak to someone, uh, but also help students out if there's any issues that are not academic. So if there's any issues that are not to do with your classes, then student services are there to support you. Okay, we have a school psychologist, we have a chaplain, we have uh, a number of different people to work down there to support students. Okay, the last thing I wanna do before you go, I've actually invited our head boy and our head girl here and I've said to them, what advice would they give themselves if they could go back in time to when they were in year six? So when they're in your shoes, what could they tell you about high school? So first up, I've got our head boy, Lockie. Hi, I'm Lockie, your head boy. Um, I just wanted to share a bit of advice that I've shared to my year six self. Um, so make sure you join as many clubs um, as there's uh, limitless opportunities and getting involved in all the extracurricular activities. And now we've got a head girl, Gabby. Hi, I'm Gabby. Um, I know when I was in year six, I was really worried about coming to school because it all seemed really big and scary. But if I could go back, I would tell myself not to worry because the people here are really lovely. Everyone's able to help you. If you get lost or need help, you can look for people with badges or any teachers. They're always willing to help and it's not as scary as you think. Everything will be fine. Okay, that brings us to the end. Thank you students and teachers for your time. If there are any questions, please direct them to your teachers and your teachers will be able to get in contact with us. Usually we have a bit of a Q&A session, obviously we can't, but we'd love to answer any of your questions, so speak, please speak to your teachers. All right, I'm just gonna get Mr. Thresher and Ms. Kanji back here to say bye. All righty, that's it for us guys, thanks very much. See you later. See you later. See you at orientation, if not before. Thank you, bye bye. Is that going to be a problem? That might be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also got Miss Candy. Hi guys. My name's. Oh God. Sorry. We're going to be here. Okay. Stop looking at me. Wow. Wow. That cool. is out of space. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to it. <laughs> the option classes. Sometimes kids call these the fun classes, but I think you have fun in your mesh subjects too sometimes. I'm a, I'm a science teacher in my background, so science is pretty cool. When you come to the, uh, oh. these houses represent, these, the houses you're in are used to represent, here at the college we have, here at the college we have a vast, here at the college we have a range of different clubs and programs. Um, the chess club. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so do I, but I'm not. I'm like, go to robotics, <laughs> go to sport, go to chess. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up to you, mate. If you want to use the cool magic on us, yeah. Spend the day with sport, but you can go up to the Hi, guys, I'm Miss Candy. I'm, I'm school. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys, I'm Miss Candy. I'm a. I can't.
Hi guys, I'm Miss Candy. I'm the school officer. Uh, hi guys, I'm Miss Candy. I'm a school officer. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Miss Candy. I'm the enrolment officer. Yep. I work in the front office. Yep. And I deal with. Hi guys, I'm Miss Candy. I'm the enrolment officer at Ellenbrook Secondary College. I work in the office and I'll be able to help you with all your enrolment needs. So. <laughs> you're, not wrong, though. you're like, let's get everyone else to say goodbye, or you're just gonna finish it. I'm cool with you just finishing I'm it. I'm totally cool with you just finishing yeah. it. Yeah, being like, see you guys. See you guys. I think you're coming. <laughs> Alright, we'll all come in. And then you'll be like, can we get a party? Yeah, and then we'll put on some man of cheese. Yeah. <laughs>